Hey guys, Devonixion here, and we received a massive response to the update video that I made before. Almost all of you wanted me to do the readings, so a massive kudos to you for helping me shape this channel. There were a few people who, who said no, and to those I want to give an even bigger kudos, because that means they're not afraid to give criticism for the good of this channel, and I like that. But as mentioned, a vast majority gave their yes to the cause, and some, sa some even said that they would audition. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hold auditions. So we're going to be doing Who Am I first. I think that is a safe start as it is a sequel to a pre-existing fanfic, My Little Dashi. Uh, it has no original characters that you have to build up and stuff like that. And it is fairly short. I say short in a relative sense as it is 15,000 words. It's short when you compare it to Tantibus, my other fanfic which clocks in at 50,000 words. Yeah, about the auditions, I might as well say right now that I'm mostly looking for female voice actors. Sorry guys. This, on screen, right now, is the complete list of all characters in Who Am I? As you can see, it's just the main character, the main six, Spike, and Princess Celestia. I have given the role of the main character to myself, because fuck you, it's my story. So if you're a guy, unless you have a really good Pinkie Pie voice, you would probably have to settle for Spike. But by all means, if you want to try out for all the uh, voices, go ahead. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. So, how do you audition? Well, it's simple. All you need is a decent microphone and a mail account. Gmail, preferably. Linked below is a Google document. Let's see if I can grab this here. Yeah, there we go. Featuring actual lines with the descriptions from each character in Who Am I? All you need to do is first ensure that your best microphone is in use if you haven't already. You can do this by going in Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Manage Audio Devices, and then going to the Recording tab. Next, you open the Windows Sound Recorder, or similar, you can just search for it in the Windows icon. I believe uh, QuickTime has a recorder on Mac, if you're using that. Google it. So you open that up, and then you hit record. And then you just read the lines of the characters you wish to audition for. And once you've done that, you attach that recording to a mail to this Gmail account that you're seeing on screen. No, that way, that way, yeah. Devonixion at gmail.com I created this specifically for auditions, so don't contact me here about other things. Just use YouTube Messenger or Twitter for that. As the subject, put your... Uh, let's see, it's still that way. Put your age, your gender, and the characters you wish to aud audition for. You should see a few examples of what it can look like on the screen right now. Then, you just attach the recording to this mail, and then you hit send. And that's it. You're done. You're done with your audition. I will respond to you from this email, still on screen, hopefully, if you were accepted. And then I'll list which characters you got accepted as. And if you are accepted, you will receive further instructions in the mail. So, But those are instructions we don't need to worry about for now. All you got to worry about now is the audition itself. And for that, let me give you some tips. Read through the lines first before recording. Make sure that you pretty much know the instructions by hand so that you can quickly just read out the lines. Let's take Fluttershy here for example. You've been taken care of by someone a little bit better. Are you feeling better? Here, I made you some soup. You need it. See? That's easy. Then you move on to the next character. Don't take too much time. Make sure you're prepared before you hit record. If you fuck up a line, just read it again. It's no big deal. Just, just read it again. You don't have to start the recording from the beginning. Here, I made you some Pop-Tarts. Damn it! Fuck! <clears throat> Here, I made you some soup. Also, really try to put yourself in your character's situation and try to let the lines kind of come naturally as a result of the emotions you are feeling. It sounds weird, I know, but just roll with it. Also, I want to advise you to try out for as many characters as you can. You may not think that you have a good Applejack, for example, but it may as very well be the best Applejack I get sent to me, so so who knows? It can't hurt. I look for three things in a good voice actor here. I look for good acting, good quality on the microphone, that is, 
and voice similarity to the characters in that order of prioritization. That means what matters most to me is that you're a good actor and that you have good quality. And if you do, it might just be enough that you're female and then bam, you've secured the role as one of the main six. So think about that. If you have mediocre acting or a really staticky microphone, you're probably not going to get accepted. Sorry. So what if I don't get enough good voice actors? Easy. If I find it that the story will be done best justice by me reading all the characters' lines, then that's what I'm going to do. I will publicly announce and apologize on Twitter, which I have here, hang on, there we go, if that is the case. Hopefully it doesn't get to that though. This reading will be done whether I get enough voice actors or not. I want it, a vast majority of you want it, so let's do this. Good luck.